Chapter 47 is in the books. Stolen Dragon Ball is the title for Dragon Ball Super. And we leaving off how we was on, on Chapter 46. Goku and Vegeta getting out of bed. They got healed. But Moro, he's on the ground. He said, this can't be. He was our final hope. Maybe they talked about the Mechan um, Warriors, the villagers trying to stop Moro. And Vegeta said that Finn has even grown more powerful than we thought. And Goku assumed that he probably been absorbing the energy from the whole planet, including uh, Goku and Vegeta. He said, at this rate, Subaru Village is doomed, and he had the Dragon Ball. This same thing out again, the Freezer Saga, um, how Freezer detected, how you get the Dragon Balls, was he go to different villages because they got the Dragon Ball they own in that village. But the one star Dragon Ball is in the house that Goku and Vegeta in, so soon later, more are going to come after them. So, uh, yes. Moro is gonna come after them sooner that he could have taken Dragon Balls uh, later on we found out. So, um who was that? He like one of the freezer soldiers. Um uh, Crane, Cranberry, I think. So they got the um four star dragon or the five star dragon, I don't know. They going up the bench and slaughtering all of the mechanics. They all look dead. And then they from Earth, he sensed it. Popo said, What is it coming? He said something terrible is happening on my home planet. Piccolo said, You feel it too, huh? So a few days, I stopped sensing Goku and Vegeta's uh, key signatures on Earth. He said, Pig, this is something that's definitely happening and it's not good. So he could tell that his village is getting slaughtered. It's kind of a callback if you think about it. Almost like kind of a filler scene where um, Gordo using my bin on uh, Gohan and Krillin. And Piccolo sensed that Gohan was in trouble. He knew someone was alright. He already knew someone was alright. He said, Gohan's in trouble. I can feel it. It's kind of a little kind of throwback. So now he got the three star, the seven star, the two star, the six star, five and four. So he just need the one star. One star is one that. Wait, it's kind of an Easter egg a little bit. The one star wasn't that in the same place as the Grand Delta when they had the one star in the uh, first like. Since they got like, at least six or five Dragon Balls, one Dragon Ball left so they could hit, so they want some of the dragon because you need all seven, and it was the one star dragon. Since more is the Grand Delta, they of course he's gonna have it. Okay. And they said the final ball is near where we first landed. So they're coming after Goku and Vegeta. So uh, they get their clothes back and they sense Moro is on his way. He said, You feel it, Kakarot? I said, Yep, I feel it. He said, You sense something? No doubt he's flying straight towards us. So do you think they detected us? No, that's not it. Because there are bound to be other survivors around this planet. He said, That bastard, he is somehow to sense the Dragon Balls directly. The question, how can you send Dragon Balls to Reza? It's Moro though, of course, he got magic, maybe, of course, of course. You see, you three stay here, it's like a Dragon Radar, maybe. No, maybe, maybe, I don't know. I don't think they got Dragon Radar. What will you do? He said, I guess we're gonna be the head on. This is what Goku always do. If it's not all the option, I guess we're about to get that rematch. Somehow, that's how they did Goku Black with no strategy for the second time. He said, I guess he just got to fight again and see the hope for the best. So, uh, Vegeta asks, Says, given that I slaughtered those Namekian years ago, how do you feel about me? Moro said, you speak of the attack on it'll sooner, right? We do not forget these things so easily. So you hold a grudge then? Grudges and hate, hatred can only bring about further conflict. The Namekian people are not so foolish as to indulge in such things. So, I don't think they hold on grudges against um, Vegeta no more, so, you know, everything's good. He said, I see. We only wish to preserve peace on our home for nothing more. So that's what more I got to say. They ain't holding grudges. It's all good. So he said, Kakarot, if you survive, make restore to this planet how the way it once was. We said, what's the other option here? <laughs> There's no other option. <coughs> they finna fly straight on. They powering up their key. You can't go Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan Blue, so they're coming up in their base floor and they're going. They lunges at Moro. Then, uh, they make the save. Who else could it be? Mirrors. Mirrors save them. Yes, yeah, so a mirror save them. He shoot up the gun and he traps Moro into this uh, kind of a net, whatever it is. It's been designed so they can catch Moro. The first year of all those key blasts that he got close to Moro. He getting the job done, as Goku said. So he shoots it out, he's in his net, he can't get out, but he's gonna get out soon, of course. He's not gonna help, he's more. But, uh, he said, we developed this capture device just for pinning you down. You won't tear us apart that easily. So, Mirrors, go from here. He's good to see them, a lot more well. Uh, 
We got Boo. They, they throw Boo out the freaking thing. They push him out. While Boo is still sleeping. <laughs> and now he's finally awake. So they, Beerus finally awake. Beerus sees Moro. He said, oh, I remember now. Because, maybe because you know, the dog Kaioshin. Whatever his name was. Doc Kaio or whatever it was. Since Boo is all there, of course, you're going to have a faint memory. Sunday is a call back to the um, GT song about Baby. Ooh, he said, I have memories of you or something like that. Of course, Barry, or not Barry, Boo no. And he's mad because he killed his friends and stuff. He said, it couldn't be the great Lord of Lords. So, the great Lord of Lords means Supreme Kai, you know. By the way, he said, the mama. Boo gets angry. He powers up. Speaking of powering up, Moro has powered out the net. Now, Boo is mad. He got the bang. The smokes come out. So, you know, Boo is very pissed off. He said, you don't get to pick on everyone in your own. So, you can take care of the job. And Boo is beating the holy shit out of him. He's beating the holy shit out of him. And he's, he powered up all his keys to Max, I believe. Maybe the Max, I don't know. Then Mirrors, he lift the grounds up, whatever. Like fire or something like that. Boo went straight towards him and hit him with a right hook. A right hook the mirror um moral face. I'm sorry. He said Boo dove right through the flames, fire and flames, and didn't didn't face him. It didn't face Boo at all. It doesn't face him. At all. And mirrors oh, sorry, Moro. Look, he said mirrors. Moro has put a hole in Boo's stomach. Of course, if you know about Boo, he can't regenerate it easily. He can regenerate easily. And it still didn't face him at all. It's like nothing even happened. Beerus, not Beerus, Boo grinned at him and he punched the shit out of him, make him fly. And he spit out key blasts out of his mouth. Same thing he did against Maja Vegeta to trap him in that, in his skin, whatever it was, you know. He was doing those, like he was spitting him out. Same thing, Boo does that, of course. He's Maja Boo. So, moral. He charging up a bit ball, whatever it was, so he threw it over Vegeta that one time. He said that movie did. It still didn't work. Boo kicked the fuck out of that motherfucker. He kicked it. He kicked it. Like it was nothing. Of course, it doesn't work because um Boo energy level ain't dropping because he's not like human, I guess. It's like Majin Boo fits for him. Because he's Majin Boo. So that's how we get up the trap there right there. Boo kicking the shit out of his ass. His energy hasn't dropped not one bit. So can Boo take care of the job? I don't know. Maybe Moa has so much of his power that he can unleash it in the next chapter. You would think Boo would hit a beat of a single villain? I don't think so. It's gonna be some kind of plot twist. We don't know. Everything is getting interesting. Majin Boo is taking over again. So rejoice the Majin Boo fan. Geek don't know you're having a good time with this shit. But um if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe button. Make sure you leave a like. Um uh, sorry. Uh, about my grammar, I'm sorry, I say mirrors, moral, boo, beerus and shit. Got it mixed up, I'm sorry. But this chat was good. It was good. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one.